OpenAI just released ChatGPT5 and of all the great things that it's capable of doing right now, one of the biggest problems with AI right now is its lack of memory. And even though OpenAI is in the forefront when it comes to persistent memory and there is no one even close to them, their memory fills up within a matter of days and that's it. You don't get any more. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to give ChatGPT5 unlimited memory to level up your business, level up your experience and level up your personal workflows with ChatGPT. And we're going to do this using a very popular automation tool called N8N, but we're not going to purchase it directly from N8N because it would be so much more expensive. If you want to follow along with me, then click on the link in the description beneath this video. And when you do, you're going to come to Hostinger's self-hosted N8N no code AI workflows landing page. You can unlock unlimited workflows. You can launch unlimited concurrent executions and access community nodes. And just to give you some context, if you were to sign up for N8N through their own website, then you would pay $20 a month for 2.5 thousand workflow executions a month instead of having them for unlimited. And I haven't even shown you the price that Hostinger charges, which is so far beneath this. And then you only get one shared project, five concurrent executions you get unlimited executions with Hostinger. And if you go with the self-hosted route, it's $667 per month and you get 40,000 workflow executions. It's still not unlimited. So hopefully you can see that this is definitely going to be the better plan, especially once we scroll down and we see the actual prices. Their highest price plan is $19.99 a month. You get eight virtual CPUs, 32 gigabytes of RAM, 400 gigabytes of NVM disk space, 32 terabytes of bandwidth. This is for a very massive operation and most people are going to be fine right here with this most popular plan, the KVM2 plan. But just so you have some context on this, N8N's lowest plan starts at $20 a month and Hostinger's highest plan ends at $20 a month. So I'm gonna choose this plan right here because it's the best. You get two CPUs, you get eight gigabytes of RAM, you have 100 gigabytes of disk space, and you have eight terabytes of bandwidth. That is more than enough for the average person. And if my usage picks up, I can just kick up to another plan for a couple of bucks. So I'm just gonna choose this plan right here. And you can see that I'm saving $264 by signing up for 24 months. You can choose other time periods, but the lower the time period, the lower the discount. I recommend that you go ahead and sign up for the two years so that you can save as much as possible. Choose your server location. It's most likely going to be the United States if you're watching this video. And then choose your operating system. Just choose in it in right here, confirm, and then hit continue. All this page does is verify your billing address and then you want to come right here to the page where you pay it and you want to come over here to right here where it says have a coupon code click on that and then all I want you to do is type in my name Corey and then hit apply and you're going to get a discount. Then all you have to do is complete your purchase and you have two years of N8N with unlimited workflows and unlimited concurrent executions as well as it being hosted on your own virtual private server with Hostinger. So now that my payment's gone through, it's a little countdown button right here. And all I have to do is hit get started. And so now the first thing you need to do is secure your VPS access. So you want to set a root password and you want to add an SSH key for extra protection. That's optional. So we're just going to set up the root password. Once you have your password, click next. There's a free malware scanner. I'm going to leave that checked and finish the setup. And now it's setting up our VPS. This is going to take about five minutes. You can leave this page if you want to. So now everything's set up. So all we have to do is manage VPS to go to our dashboard. And you can see that NAN as well as the operating system is already installed simply by choosing it at the checkout. And all we have to do now is click on manage app. And it's going to open up NAN obviously so you can set your account up. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and log in with my account and you can kind of see my credentials pre-populating because I already have an account choose this one right here I think that's the right one so here's the N8N dashboard I'm going to click on start from scratch and then I'm going to come to the top and click on these three dots and then I'm going to click import from file. So I've just imported my long term memory protocol JSON file and all it is is a string of code. And I know this looks confusing, but I didn't write any of this code. I had the AI write it for me. So 
So now let me give you a brief explanation of how this automation works. And then I'll give you a demo so that you can see it in real time. It works so smoothly. So this is a very simple automation, but it's very powerful when it comes to giving chat GPT or any AI long-term persistent memory. And all it consists of is a form and a file. And basically when I place data inside the form, then this automation will automatically update this file and the AI, ChatGPT, Claw, Google Gemini, whichever one you're using can then access this file that is hosted over here on Hostinger. So now I'm gonna give you a very quick demo and show you how this works and just how powerful this tool is. The first thing we wanna do is activate this workflow. I'm gonna click got it. I'm gonna double click here. I'm gonna get the production URL, which is the actual one. This is just a test. So it's a very simple form that says add memory line and then the project, Bible study, Makoshi, CIA, which is my content intelligence agent. I'm not working with the CIA. And then Ilara Vance, which is a copywriting messaging type uh, construct that I'm building and prototyping. So now what I wanna do is paste in my memories here, but let me show you how we actually get this data and how it's stored and how it works in real time. I like to keep my ChatGPT account organized, and so I create projects for things that I discuss with ChatGPT on a frequent basis. So Bible study, Makoshi, Alara Vance, these are things that I'm frequently discussing, so they need projects so that I can store all of the conversations in one place. But those lists of conversations can become long, and sometimes I just wanna get the results of my work, store it somewhere safely, so that I can recall it in future conversations, and then I can delete those chats, because eventually the reference past chats is going to be outside the purview of ChatGPT anyways, and I'm gonna lose the benefit of those conversations, unless I have this long-term memory protocol system. So all you wanna do is come to the end of a conversation, and I'll probably make this an instruction with the prompt in inside of my files in the future, most likely now that I'm recording this video, but all you do is paste this prompt. And please don't let the name of this prompt confuse you. I can delete it, it adds absolutely no value. It's just a technical name that I give it. But now it's going to actually execute this prompt and it's going to work through this conversation, extract all of the insights, and then it's going to give it a date, a time, it's going to give tags to it, etc. But now we have our data or our memories, and so all I have to do is hit copy, I come back to my form, choose the project, Bible study, place the cursor inside memory, paste, and then I hit submit. And just like that, all of the data from that conversation that was relevant, that was important, that I wanna recall later on, N8N has automatically updated on my file on Hostinger inside of my virtual private server. When I open up the address to where I'm storing this data on my server, you can actually see that this is all the data right here. And so if you come down here and you look, you can see that the date says uh, 2025-07-27. So that means the last time I updated this memory file was on July 27th, 2025. But now if I go ahead and refresh this browser now, and we scroll down further and we look at the last date at the bottom, you can see that the last time it was updated was 2025, August 13th, or just a few moments ago. So we know that the workflow is absolutely working the way that it's supposed to. And as this file grows over the years, ChatGPT will always have this repository of data that it can pull from. And then all I have to do is place a simple instruction inside of each of my projects that says, load external memory file from and supply the URL from where I'm hosting the file on my own virtual private server. This means that it doesn't necessarily work just for ChatGPT5. I can do the same thing with Claude, Gemini, Grok, or any other AI so that it has access to my repository of knowledge so that I can personalize my own experience with the AI without worrying about when OpenAI, Google, Anthropic, or any other AI company is going to give us unlimited memory because we already have it now with just a few simple steps. And you don't have to worry about messing anything up because if you come here to snapshots and backups, you'll see that every week you, there's an automatic backup. So if I experiment with some some different workflows or I break something or mess something up, then all I have to do is come over here and click on restore and it's going to put everything in my account back to the way that it was on that particular day and time so that I know everything is right and it just gives me a clean place where I can start over. 
And even if I do find myself in a place where things are messed up, all you have to do is come down to the bottom right corner where it says Ask Cody. And this is going to open up a conversation with the AI agent. And you can see right here that I've already been having a conversation with it. And I was asking Cody earlier about how to create a snapshot. And it didn't just tell me how to create the snapshot. It actually went ahead and did it. Cody is not just a chat bot. It has some agency. And so it's more of an AI assistant. It helps you manage your account so that you don't have to feel overwhelmed with what you're doing. And there are hundreds, possibly even thousands of other workflow combinations that you can create for your business or your content creation needs with N8N using the hosting or VPS with unlimited workflows and unlimited concurrent executions. They have a 30 day money back guarantee. If it's not something that's good for you or it's not something you can't get the handle of, then you can request a refund. But I'm certain that once you get your account set up, you realize how accurate chat GPT memory is becoming, how personalized the experience is. And you also begin to experiment with any of the other hundreds of workflows that you're able to automate automatically to level up your business or to level up your content creation and distribution, I'm certain that you're going to be happy with the deal that you've gotten because $150 for two years is a steal. And for me personally, being able to have ChatGPT pull up details from conversations that I had months ago and remind me of things that I said or find relevant insights and then incorporate them into a response today is priceless for me. And all of this is possible by hosting N8 in on your own virtual private server with Hostinger, who offers the best value in the market right now, so that I'm able to create this premium experience with ChatGPT 5 that most people don't experience, and also set up as many other automations as I want to to help me grow my business, create more content, and automate my work without spending anything more than $150 that have already been invested. So if you sign up, send me a screenshot, and I'll send you a copy of the workflow as well as a handout that walks you through the process of getting everything set up so that you have no problems with your memory system and you can experience chat gpt5 on a level that only a few people are actually experiencing right now with an expanded and limitless persistent memory if you got value out of the video make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel and as always take care have a good day and i'll see you in the next video